Hey, Terry, are you there? You do realize that this is my parents' home. We're already divorced, so I want you to out of there ASAP. How much longer do you plan to stay? I want you out. You've practically taken over the living room. Are you out of your mind? The place looks like a total pigsty. Is it you again, Erica? Why you keep on harping on and on about that? For your information, I do not plan on leaving. Why not? Because mom said so. She said that once you get married, the wife provides everything to the husband. That's apparently the accepted practice. So, even though we are divorced, you were once my wife, and everything you own has been transferred to me. Are you nuts? I never heard such hogwash in my life. Did your mom grow up in the Middle Ages or something? Besides, this is not my house. It's my parents' place. They've got nothing to do with your hokey pokey beliefs. I'm gonna say this one more time. Once we're married, what's yours becomes mine, even if we're divorced. Therefore, the house now belongs to me. I want you out of my house ASAP, you parasite. Parasite? Have you totally lost it, Terry? You're an unwelcome bug. Where'd I put that bug spray? I really should have this whole house fumigated. <laughs> Terry, you've totally gone wacko. You really should see a doctor. Just get the hell out of my house, please. That's my line. Lee, would you please? For God's sake. Besides, the baseball game's about to start. Okay, that's enough texting for today. I'm gonna crack open a nice cold beer and enjoy this game. So, get lost! Please, just pack your bags and do a vanishing act, would ya? Terry, come on! This is nuts! Terry, are you there? Answer me for God's sake. I just got home from work and my keys don't work. Did you go and change the locks? Hey, back from work so early? You didn't, did you? Change the damn locks? That's right, I changed them. You just wouldn't listen to me, so I took drastic measures. It was the only way to keep you out. Man, you've really gone too far. How many times do I have to keep repeating myself? This is my house! And how many times do I have to keep denying it? This is my parents' house. And also, I just saw our name played outside. Did you really use a magic marker to scratch out my name? You've gone completely unglued. What else can I say? Well, that's about all I could do for now. I'll have a proper one made later. Just the first step towards establishing my ground. You have no legal right to be doing this. You do realize that, right? Just open this damn door. No can't do. This is my house, remember? Oh yeah. I forgot to mention it, but my mom is also moving in next month. Excuse me? Uh, what? I had no choice but to kick you out. You're like a stubborn stain that just won't come off. I need a super strong detergent to get that darn stain off and for good. <laughs> Are you trying to take over this house? Like I said, this is my home. I'm not trying to take it over. It's already mine. If you have nothing else, please get lost. Terry, you're going to regret this. Hmm, finally gave up, I see. Now I can finally relax. May as well crack open another beer. Stay the hell out of my house. <laughs> hey, Jim, could you put me up for the night? Huh? Is that you, Erica? What's up, sis? Actually, it may not be just tonight. Maybe a bit longer. Yeah, no problem, but why? What's wrong? Got a long drive ahead of you, though. From there, it'll take at least an hour. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you directly anyway. Yeah? Talk to me about what? Terry just commandeered her house. Huh? What do you mean, commandeered? 
Do you mean like he confiscated it or something? Yup, that's exactly right. Just took it over as if it were his. He even changed the lock to the front door. You're talking about mom and dad's place, right? I know mom and dad asked you to take care of the place while they were gone. You work nearby, don't you? You're talking about that house, right? Yes, that's right. It's only been three days since we got divorced, but he just won't leave. Says it's his place now. He even said his mom is moving in next month. Can you believe it? Right after the divorce went through, I demanded that he leave, but he was persistent. Just wouldn't budge. I've been pleading with him to leave for three days straight. I had an important business meeting today, so I was out all day. But when I got home, the door was locked and I couldn't get into my own home. Man, I can't believe he went to all the trouble of changing the lock. I know, he's totally bonkers. I was going to call the cops, but I didn't want to cause a big scene. So late at night, you know the Dawson's next door, right? Well, they just had a baby a few weeks ago, so I decided not to cause a ruckus. For now at least, and decide to contact you. Sorry about this. Don't worry about it. But why would Terry be so adamant about staying at the house? Why not just move to his parents' place or something? He's the one who wanted a divorce. He should be the one to leave. Yeah, well, I think it's his mother. Probably filling his head with all kinds of nonsense. Apparently, she told him that even if we get divorced, everything I own becomes his. I can't understand that logic, of course. So, he got into his head that the house is his. I haven't talked to you about your personal matters much, but as far as I've heard, the reason you divorced was something to do with Terry's mother being a real pain in the ass, nitpicking about everything you did, and the fact that Terry never really stuck up for you and always took his mother's side. I never thought it would escalate to this after the divorce went through. I mean, who would have imagined? How about all your stuff? What happened to everything? Yeah, about that. I got most of my valuables like jewelry and cash, but there was a bunch of other stuff that I had to leave behind. Oh, that's too bad. Anyway, no problem staying here with me. Come on over and we'll have dinner ready for you. We can talk more then. Thanks, Jim. I knew I could rely on my big brother. We need to sit down and discuss plans to get that house back. Maybe we should give Dad a call. Huh? Call Dad? But he's way across the state. Yeah. I heard he'll be in the next county over for a business meeting tomorrow. He said it's like an hour or two drive. If we explain the situation, I'm sure he'll rush over to help us. Really? If Dad were here, things would go a lot smoother. After all, it's his property. Okay. It's all set then. I'll call Dad right away and you get your little butt down here. Jim! Just kidding. Be careful driving down here. Okay, thanks, big brother. Hey, Terry, are you there? You will be leaving that house today. Mark my words. Oh, come on! Not you again! What the hell do you want? I thought we settled this yesterday. You're really hell-bent on getting this house back, aren't you? You're really hell-bent on squatting. I know why you're squatting in my house. You got fired from your job and can't rent a place, right? Huh? Where'd you hear that? And the reason why you can't go to your mom's apartment? It seems she's heavily in debt and can't pay the rent this month. So she's getting kicked out. Uh, who the hell told you all that? Your friend. The one who took my side during the divorce hearings. He did a little checking for me. Randy! I knew that guy since high school. How could he do this to me? Yeah, Randy. He's a way better person than you. He was shocked how you treated me. He told me everything. So you and your mom have nowhere to live. So you decide to take over my parents' house. Do you really think such a preposterous scheme would really work? Of course it would work. This place is already mine. The only people that have the right to live here are me and my mom. My wife's stuff is my stuff, ex or otherwise. Get that through your head. This house is mine. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's settled. This is our home, buddy. Huh? 
Who is this? Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it, Terry? You remember me. Jim? Erica's older brother. Jim? What the hell do you want? Just helping out my little sister. This has nothing to do with you. I don't have your line ID, so I'm using Erica's phone. I hope you don't mind. Uh, you're not here with Erica, are you? Yeah, I am. Along with my father. Your father's here too? Now, why wouldn't he be here? After all, it's his property. He owns the land. And the house itself, that's in my name. Uh, seriously? I thought the house and land was in Erica's name. Yeah, it's her family home, but she doesn't own it legally. We do. She never told me that. My father and I live and work over in another county, so obviously we can't live there. Then you and Erica got married and simply started living there on our behalf. She worked nearby, so we didn't mind. Besides, it was great to have someone looking after the house for us. We're not living there now, but we eventually plan to return. It's our family home, after all and we plan to keep it that way. Uh, but... You must have figured you could just take over the place since we weren't living there. Um, well, you know I was just trying to... All right, then. How about this? I'll get back together with Erica. Excuse me? Are you saying you guys are going to get married again? The divorce just went through three or four days ago. Yeah, well, it happens a lot, right? Just a difference of opinion, but we still love each other. We'll invite my mom and we can live as one big happy family. Problem solved. I heard the reason you guys got a divorce was because of your mom. She really did a number on Erica. Drove her nuts, I hear. Huh? No. My mom never. And you never had her back. Always sticking up for your mom. Must have been really lonely to have no one to comfort her. So I don't see why she would want to remarry a mama's boy like you. I mean, really? She would be nuts to even consider it. Yo, well, that's... That's me and Erica's problem. We'll work it out. All right, then. Why don't we meet? You, me, and my dad. Let's talk this out and come to some sort of agreement. What do you say? Huh? Me? In person? Where? My dad had the locksmith open the back door. Huh? A locksmith? Back door? You're gonna need some talking to about personal property, my friend. You know what? Actually, now that you guys are divorced, we could call the cops. You know, report an intruder. You could get shot. Oh, uh, please. No cops. This locksmith guy is good. We're coming in. Please, we can do this later. I have some errors to run right now, so... Erica, are you there? Please, help me. What do you want? Your brother... And your dad, they're making me work at some work site. Oh, yeah. I figured it would turn out this way. <laughs> I hear it's a living job, and your mom can join you. Sounds pretty good if you ask me. I mean, you guys had no job or a place to live. Worked out perfectly. You should be grateful to my brother and my dad. They did you a favor. Are you kidding me? This ain't no favor. I'd rather be jobless and homeless than do this crap. You really think my mom and I are happy working at Gonzo Sanitation Services? My brother and dad pulled some strings to get you guys that live-in job. I wish you would show some appreciation. But we can't work there, of all places. Come on, don't be such a wimp. You'll get used to it in no time. It may be hard for a while, but just think. Someday you'll grow to love that job. Good luck. Don't give me that good luck crap! Why the hell did you even bring your brother and dad to the house anyway? Why couldn't you leave things as it were? Everything was going just great! All you had to do was keep your mouth shut 
hand over the house to me. Nobody would have been the wiser. But you had to blab about this to your brother and your dad. What's wrong with you? Do you still not understand? What are you talking about? The house. It's in my brother and father's name. It's not mine and it's certainly not yours. Get that through your dim-witted head of yours, would you? I'm sick of repeating myself. Even if I simply said, Okay, Terry, I'll give you the house. Do you really think that would pass? I could point at the house next door and say, That's yours. Would that make it yours? Same thing. Yo, yeah, well... You really need to catch up on some basic rules of society for God's sake. Well, you got plenty of time to think it over with your mom. Good luck. Hold on a sec, Erica. So long, Terry. Have a good life. Please, Erica, don't abandon me. Terry was texting me like that while packing up his stuff. My brother and my dad kept an eye on him while he got ready. They obviously suspected he was texting me, trying to get me to reconsider. I gave my brother the text exchange later on, and he handed the transcript to Terry's new boss, who used it as future reference. As part of his employee training, I suppose. As for Terry's mom, she had accumulated considerable debt. I hear she's working hard to pay that off by working double shifts as part of the road crew. Oh, and my father had several cases of expensive craft beer that he had collected and stored in the fridge down in the cellar. When he found out that practically all of it was gone, he went ballistic. He had even ordered several cases from Europe, some rare, hard-to-get brand. Some of it was very rare, irreplaceable, I heard. It was all valued at more than $10,000. Terry was utterly shocked to get the bill. He figured it was just your usual Bud Light. All I could do was shake my head in disbelief. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.